So I actually thought this might be kind of fun to go through since I think there's a lot of confusion on the MasterCard pair wallet Algorand uh, partnership. And some people, it's funny when you bring up partnership, some people get really mad about what you call a partnership and what can officially be a partnership. And if you say that you're trying to, some people think you're just trying to push this narrative, but this is like absolutely seems like like a partnership. So why don't we take a look at this here? I think this is pretty interesting. And this came from Aaron uh, Baumgartner. He said, if I understand this correctly, an individual can have a MasterCard connected to their para wallet and use para wallet to make transactions that gets directly charged to the credit card. He said, John Allen Woods, am I correct? And John said, yep, tap card, para debits. And see that, that confuses me. Because he said, he says, have a MasterCard connected to their para and use the para wallet to make transactions directly charged to the credit card. Now that sounds different than, than tap card para debits. Wouldn't it be, because he said, use your para wallet. Uh, so it's all very exciting, but that doesn't, that seems really confusing. Okay, so 100% correct. This is Jack Snow. He says, with USDC added on Coinbase and on off ramps, it will essentially allow Pair to act as a decentralized checking account. And Aaron says, that's how I understand it. And A24Z says, amazing news all around. My understanding is debit, not credit at this stage. So there's a lot of confusion here. Uh, Jonas AP Appy says, still confused about the direction. So am I. Para pays MasterCard. Para pays MasterCard spends or MasterCard pays Para spends. Yeah, I'm confused. I wonder if I had another post that I don't go around. Interesting. And <laughs> the first one that comes up, two of mine. Oh, that's wild. This is on Algorand official. Let's see if this, okay. R&D immersive MasterCard for Para. Make Paras, make payments from your Para account with MasterCard. DevRel and R&D in testnet press release incoming. So this person says, it's a bit like how Google Pay, Apple Pay work when you pair a debit card with your phone. Rather than a debit card, your para wallet is used. Well, that, that was my initial understanding. This will allow USDCA balance in your para wallet to be spendable, spendable wherever MasterCard dollar payments are accepted with a phone tap on any normal MasterCard supporting a POS device in a shop or restaurant. So basically what it sounds like is anywhere where they take where they take MasterCard and they have like that little, you know, that little uh, machine, you'll be able to use your para wallet and scan it. And then boom, it takes it out of your so that that's but this is yet another explanation, right? This is like having a USDCA balance that's just done through MasterCard. Here from Decipher panel, I quote immersive has this on ETH. And they settle transactions once per day, and it produces issues with double spend. Algo, Algorand is entering into collab with them to have master on Algo, and it will settle transactions instantly. Yes, Algorand chain is used since transaction has to happen on chain. Um, yeah, I hate to be uh, hate to be that guy, but man, they really got to like square this stuff away. It's so confusing. It would be absolutely incredible if Mastercard. Bank card could attach to Parrot Wallet and I can simply convert balance to USDC. It doesn't work that way. It is your Parrot Wallet that gets a virtual MasterCard that can spend USDCA in your wallet. So he's really convinced that it's USDCA in your wallet that you would just spend through master, like a virtual MasterCard. He says, I am not too, I am not too enthusiastic about retail payments for as a use case. Payment and cash withdrawal are taken care of with interbank, instant payments, and so on. As TradFi catches up, happen personal transactions publicly visible on a public chain leaks metadata about a user. And that's kind of a good point. I'm pretty horrified by MasterCard as a group. They say their public profiles that they use DQ, decency quotient, to drive their interactions within and without their company. DQ is an in-house equivalent of the social credit score system or some moral authority. MasterCard Church of DQ, I guess, ranks people and companies according to their own ideology. So MasterCard sounds like a financial services group hijacked by woke ideological rattles drills to me, pushing for a China China style social credit score system. Well, good for you. Good news for you. Privacy layers are now a big focus. And okay. So that like doesn't entirely I was really hoping there'd be something official. What did Michael say? Michael's usually on top of this stuff. So by the way, it's not just, uh, let me back up here. Let's go to the very top of this. Okay, so this is the original and then USDC 
Worth also noting, this is immersive. This is the company that they're doing this with. Uh, worth also noting, it's all on chain, and users essentially have their own bank account on Algorand to an individual in an individual smart contract. The Algo protocol is the richest and most decentralized version we've deployed. So that's nice to see here. Maybe you can go read that. Where do we get one of these cards? Via Para Wallet when they release. Who did I block? Oh, here, Para Wallet. Exp oh, good. I was like worried I wasn't sharing it. Para Wallet says it's a custodial smart contract based on the a custodial smart contract based wallet that allows you to add and remove funds. Once your account is created and approved, you'll be assigned a unique address and have to enter a PIN. Then you can add the card to Google or Apple Pay, and it will function as a debit card. Oh, so then you. Oh, Oh, I see. Okay. I'm starting to understand how this works. Well, let's see what this says. Not currently available. Dev developer preview only. It says immersive. Algorand pro funding protocol allows client applications to fund immersive cards via simple native Algorand assets transfers. Uh, depositors can withdraw funds at any time with signed withdrawal approvals. Deposits are scoped to a single immersive partner. Okay. This is all blah, 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 blah. Okay. So this is like really deep in how this is going to work. There's like a master contract, which creates a card fund contract and a partner channel contract. But yeah, this is like the really technical stuff. But yeah, I think this is probably the best explanation. And this comes from Para. It's a custodial smart contract based wallet that allows you to add and remove funds. Once your account is created and approved, you'll be assigned a unique address and have to enter a pin. Then you can add the card to Google or Apple Pay and it will function as a debit card. So that kind of makes some sense to me. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think this is cool? Or do you think this is like, like that one person said, they just didn't think it was a good idea. So there's kind of a question. Let's see. So also note now any approved DAP on Algorand could have their own branded MasterCard powered by Immersive. Be cool to see a DeFi MasterCard running where loan or yield is autom automatically loaded onto card in USDC. Heaps of use cases. Mm -hmm. Or a GameFi card with relevant rewards such as in-game credits, level up, based on card usage. Could even do physical cards with your favorite NFT or character on it. It's kind of cool. Uh, this is a good point. It says, how much does, how much do you charge as, as fee to settle each transaction? No fee, no fee to DAP or user. We make our money via interchange and FX. I don't know what that is. Tunkin Tribe says, we are ready for the Tunkin Tribe card. What do we need to do? Please email info immersive at one of our, what is Tunkin Tribe? I've never heard of this. Oh, Toucan. Toucan. Like, the, okay. Y'all can make fun of me. <laughs> Tuckin. Toucan. Toucan Tribe. I don't know. A bunch of people are asking them what's... Uh... Oh, there's Kim Pichy Block. I like that guy. Is he still following me? Yeah. Okay, cool. I think folks finance it. Yeah, folks finance would be perfect for this. I'm just seeing if there's anything else. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, I think uh, I think that's really bearish news or bullish news. Excuse me. I think that's really awesome. Oh, let's see what, uh, trying to see if anyone else is talking about this. Uh, I guess not. All right. Let's see what you guys got to say then. Do, 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 do. Jupiter I, welcome to the show. Good to see you again. Says, I have some cash on exchange waiting for another one to two cent drop. I'll buy more algo. Yeah, you might get it. You might get it, or we might be that might be the bottom of the drop. I'm not sure. It's always hard to say for sure, but as we said, you know, it's kind of at the bottom of that Bollinger band and like with really low RSI. So it's probably going to pump back up because so is Bitcoin, by the way. Oh, let's see. Johnny Echo says, please get Adam back on here to chat about algo again. Yeah, I'd love to have Adam on. He's uh, he's kind of stepped away from YouTube. He's he's popped up on the uh, he's popped up in my chat a few times, and yeah, you know, I, I I have to say he's one of the he's one of my favorite was one of my favorite people because um, he's really really the only one that was good to me early on. Now that I'm big, they all kind of have to, but everyone else kind of uh, you know, they didn't. I don't think they put a lot of respect on my name. But Adam was cool for day one, so I. I'll always be, I'll always speak well of him. I'll always be grateful to him. And he kind of like passed the torch on to me when he, when he left YouTube. So I appreciate that. He's a good dude. And uh, yeah, he actually, we actually stayed in the same hotel in Dubai, um, different moons, obviously, but he usually came by every morning and we chatted uh, before we went to 
the conference. So very cool. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Adam Bergman. Uh, I do kind of wish he was still in the space. So Bart Reifen says, I heard Algorand got some kind of partnership with Coinbase. Actually, yes. Um, not necessarily a partnership, but USDCA is now on Coinbase, which is great. If you just want to like, if you don't want to do the whole buy Algorand, send it to your wallet, then exchange it for USDC, you can just send USDCA right to your Algorand wallet from Coinbase. That's pretty cool. And buy it right on there. Thank <music> you.